It's food. It's food. Pour it up. It's food. It's food. It's food. Pour it up. What's up, guys? This your girl Savvy. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna have to work with me. You know, uh, my voice, um, I've been hollering and shouting at Sophia Ruffin Conference. So, yo, I, at first I wasn't going to make this video because I was like, I'm going to wait till my voice get better. But, hey, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm just a vessel. He's going to have to use me. So I pray that, you know, whatever the Lord is trying to get to you, I, pl I pray that those seeds are still planted. I pray that your flesh overlooks my voice and your spirit tunes in to, you know what I'm saying, what I got to say. But anyway, so check this out. So it's been a minute, guys. You know, I had to take um, a couple weeks off from Food for Thought and Music Monday. Um, the last time I did a Food for Thought, I was actually overseas. Um, I was in, I think, Kenya. I was in Kenya or Egypt. But that altar call video, guys, I want to be transparent with you. That video literally took me out in my natural strength. Like literally how Elijah felt after he dealt with the false prophets and Jezebel and things like that. I literally felt like, oh my God, I had put so much energy, you know what I'm saying, behind that video. And it was like physically, spiritually, mentally, I had nothing left. Like guys, it was so bad. I missed three, two flights in a row. Yeah, and then I got back to America. I was just like, oh my God. I remember all those days I used to pray and tell the, tell the Lord, I'd be like, hey, I just want to go overseas and do your will. Guys, I'm going to stop right now and I'm going to give you um, a tip. If you are not taking care of yourself financially, mentally, physically, if you're not working out, getting enough sleep, um, eating correctly, drinking enough water, um, and, and really tuning in and, and, and um, praying and, and worshiping so that he can give you added strength to what you already have. You trying to bounce around and do all that traveling and working and things like that, especially a ministry, is not going to work. You're going to tap out and that's it. So for me, you know, for these food for thoughts, I had to, um, I had to fall back because I had to take rest, you know, after I did the altar call video. Furthermore, he still had me working while I was resting. So I, I got a couple projects coming out for you guys. Um, I, I'm so excited. Uh, one of them is not even music related. So, you know, you guys going to find out about that. But anyways, so I just wanted to hop on here um, and, and share some things with you all. So since the last time I talked to you guys, I've been reading the Apocrypha. I don't know if you're aware of that portion of the Bible of the the cipher but it's literally the hidden books of the bible the the, the portion that was taken out when um you get into um the, the the cipher um and then you start reading the hidden books i believe jubilees is the first hidden book but um it literally gives you a behind the scenes more in-depth look at moses when he was on the mountain with the lord he wasn't on the mountain with the lord by himself he was up there with an angel too and the angel, I don't know if you guys like are aware of business practices, but when you're in a, a like a board meeting, you have like a secretary that takes meeting minutes. And the angel literally was like kind of the meeting minute person and just like informing Moses of everything that went on since the beginning of time. So Moses was able to, to write all of this down for us for today. Anyways, guys, you have to read the Apocrypha. Um, if you don't read your word, I'm telling you that you're missing out because it's like literally power that's being placed into you. I remember the Lord showed me a picture. He showed me a picture that every time you read your word, you're eating spiritual food that's good for your body. That's good for your spirit. If you keep on eating and do nothing with that, you're full of good food, but you're going to get fat. So you have to exercise. You exercise the word. Do you apply that word to your life? Do you, um, by faith, speak the word out of your mouth? Do you keep pushing and pressing in, you know what I'm saying, worshiping, praising, um, praying, spiritual warfare into the word manifesting your life? That's how you exercise the word, literally exercising, you know? Um, so if you're just doing one part, for instance, if, you, if you're just exercising, but you're not reading the word, that's just like somebody 
who is who gets in the gym, they go in. You know what I'm saying? They're great in the gym, but eventually they're going to burn out because you need your nutrition to continue to to push in the gym. You need your food. So you need you need both parts. You can't just read the word and then um, not pray and fast and and worship and praise and do spiritual warfare. And on the flip side, you can't just do spiritual warfare, pray, fast and things and don't read your word. You got to make time for both. And then when you add all that together, you got to take time to slow your mind down and listen from the heart of Yahweh. You got to listen from, from God and be like, Hey Lord, what is it that you want me to do in this season? What are you trying to get to me? What are you trying to take out of me? Are you trying to give me some, some deliverance and healing before you elevate me? What are you trying to do right now? Are you trying to heal motherly wounds? Are you trying to deal with, um, the daddy issues that I have? What are you trying to deal with in this season? And, and you'll start when you start doing these things and applying it and really taking time, you'll see that it'll start manifesting in your physical life. So I always wonder, I was like, Lord, you say that we have um, heaven on earth. Well, why am I still dealing with X, Y, Z? And he showed me in the spiritual realm, literally these principalities that are placed over, number one, our personal being, our personal lives, our family, you know, those around us, friends, our community, our job on a bigger scale, our, our, um, our state, our, our whatever, Mountains of influence. There are gatekeepers. Not, not, not even. I want. There are principalities, um, spirits, demonic spirits that literally are blocking your the way of you getting to where you're trying to go, and and the way that they do it on a smaller scale, they try to keep you in jealousy, envy, rage, anger, strife. If you can't get past these little tiny demons in your personal life, how do you expect to touch somebody and heal them? How do you expect to prophesy to someone on a bigger scale? How do you expect to be somebody's boss? How do you expect to go to the political mountain of, of influence, the arts and entertainment, the government? You know, how do you expect to operate on higher levels and you can't even get self-control over yourself? So I say all that to say this. In the next couple of weeks, I'm really going to be going over the cipher. I'm going to be going over the apocrypha. He told me to start like teaching from those those hidden books. I'm telling you guys, it's it's so meaty. It's so good. It's definitely not milk. It's so good that I literally have to sit there and I can only read one chapter at a time. I remember when I first started reading my Bible, I would be sitting there for hours and hours, like four or five hours just reading guys this this word from the apocrypha is it's like a thick steak it's so chewy it's so full of protein that i have to just eat and let my body my spirit digest you know what what I, what i'm eating you know what i'm saying right now so I, I hope you know what i'm saying this this analogy is able to help you guys understand like you, the importance of reading your word, the importance of, you know, praying and fasting and things like that. Worship, pray, spiritual warfare. Furthermore, the importance of you reading not only the entire Bible. I, I keep hearing this this thing that uh, these, some religions or, or um, I mean, excuse me, some denominations say like, uh, you ain't, you ain't got to read the Old Testament. You know, once Jesus came, that was done away with. When you read your word. He, he says from this covenant was made from this day forward and forevermore. He never said forevermore until the, the Lord came back and I mean, uh, Jesus came in and, and, and fulfilled the word. Jesus was just the word and living flesh so that we can have an example of what to live off of. He also had to come to allow grace for us to be able to live under grace so that if we made one mistake, we wouldn't be sent to the pits of hell. So that was the reason why Jesus came. So grace is there to fill in a gap where you lack, literally. So if, okay, I'm, I'm going to use um, myself as an example. When, when I first came to, to, um, to, into right relationship with, with God, man, I had a serious problem with my anger. Like if I got frustrated, I, I was going to punch a hole in the wall. Seriously. So literally i needed so much grace i i used to be cussing him out he'll tell me to do something and i couldn't get it and i was like why would you tell me to do something and you're not even helping me do it 
Like I was out, bro. Y'all, I was acting crazy now. The more that he started teaching me, showing me, he was like, Jasmine, I know you think, okay, because I'm God, I'm your father. Like I, when I tell you to do something, it's just going to be easy. But then I started learning like, okay, we're, we're in a battle. We're in, we're in spiritual warfare. So literally, even though this, this divine, this, this sovereign spirit that's over everything is telling me what to do. He also put it into place that these demonic principalities um, can stop, you know, um, what he has for us because it is up to us to fight that we already we already have authority the battle already won but we have to speak out of our mouth and have faith that's why abraham pleased the lord so much because he had faith the lord told him to do something he was persistent and he would keep doing it no matter what adversity he faced he kept go going at it you know what i'm saying when he when um he, um sarah kept getting taken by these kings and stuff he went and got his girl and, and it matter what what danger he was facing he knew he had the lord with him when he had to go get lot you know what i'm saying like he he was he, he was uh um, he had his folks with him so it's like the lord would tell you to do these things but if it was easy anybody could do it but that's why he he's birthing tough skin in you you can't sit up here and get frustrated and, and everything. And if you do get frustrated, don't let that frustration frustration stop you from, from doing what he called you to do. So the more that I, I started like learning and things like that, instead of like tr truly getting frustrated, I'll be like, okay, Jasmine, anytime the Lord tells you to do something, his word will, will not return back void. So I know that this opposition is from the enemy. You know what I'm saying? He, he, like, cause but he uses that to test you. He also, you know, the Lord also uses that. The enemy does it. But all things work together for the good of those who love him. So in the midst of the enemy sitting here testing you and, and pressuring you and, and, and doing these things to you, the Lord uses that for his good. He uses that as boot camp for you to be a soldier on, on his side. The enemy just giving, giving away free training. You, you're literally battling against the actual enemy during your training. Like now, when I was in the military, we 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 would go through like uh, do do uh, little exercises and things like that, and and um, simulations so that we could practice for when the enemy came. But what better practice is it to actually practice against your actual opponent? So we got to uh, start looking at the glass half full instead of half empty. Like, oh, my God, Lord, you told me to do this while I'm going through this oppression. Why why my finances depleted? Hey, speak against that. If, if your finances keep getting depleted every time the Lord tells you to do something, you come against the spirit of mammon. You know what I'm saying? You come against that poverty mindset. You go and take some classes and figure out for yourself, like, um, you know, learn how to budget. You you figure out how to get out of debt. There's there's practical things that you got to do for yourself too, because you're not only a spirit, you're also a soul in a body. So you have to take care of all three. You can't just take care of one. Granted, the spirit is supposed to lead, so you got to make sure that that spirit is good. You you can't just you know what I'm saying like be like okay I'm gonna take care of the body and take care of the soul whatever. No, nah, you need to take care of that spirit too, because once you operate in the spirit. And once the spirit leads, man, you'll be able to like, oh man, I I I be having like dreams, you know what I'm saying? Like they be so real. Then I, I you know, I, I'm able to hear the voice of of Yahweh clearer. Like I literally could be having a conversation with somebody. He be like, tell them X Y Z, and I be like, yeah, yes sir, yes Lord. You know what I'm saying? Because my spirit leads. But anyways, guys. I just wanted to share that with you all. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be going over um, a, a lot of stuff in these next couple weeks. I can't wait. I'm excited. Um, just to let you know, I got songs coming out pretty much every week for like the next couple of um, like weeks. So I look actually the, the next couple of months. So I look forward to that. You know what I'm saying? Really been working and uh, everything is starting to pay off. Like, man, it ain't no joke, but we doing a lot of revamping too. So y'all just work with me. You know, um, back in the States for right now. So that's where we at with it. I love you guys so much. If you haven't checked out all the new music that's dropping, I'm just, I'm going to put my uh, my link below and, and you guys go check it out. Also, I got a free gift for you all. So, you know, check out that link as well. And, you know, we getting the merch and everything up and running. Go ahead and, you know what I'm saying, check that out. Check out the new music, man. Just, just check out everything, man. The ministry is growing. Check out the video, boy. I love you guys. Hey, be easy. Even though we were free, we were still slaves in the mind. 
Message.